My name is Evelyn Vanderhoof, and I have been weaving the Raven's Tail and the Naheem in my videos. Today I'm going to show some splicing with the three strand. So right now I'm taking the three strand blue and I'm turning it so that they go from being the vertical three strand into going and going across horizontally. So I've got the three strands now turned and now I'll do the three strand weaving. And I, I talked about um, my adjusted hand movements in a previous video. So I've sped this up so that we can talk a little bit more about um, the braiding. So the three strand braid has an extra um, action that weaves it into a braid. So instead of the raven's tail three strand, this actually has a little bit of a different action. And um, every shape is surrounded by the braids. And that's really what slows this weaving down, is that you have to attend to the braids and you have to be pretty patient. Now, I uh, these three strands of the blue we're going down vertically and now we've moved them to go across so that this is going to be um, a little shallow crescent below this circle in this blue motif. Now on this side I'm finding the blue and I'm going to turn them around so that they change from vertical to horizontal across that upper crescent. And then I'm going to follow that with uh, a black three strand, two white three strands, and uh, so forth. So, um, so we're. I really wanted to show you the splicing of these um, these three strands. So I'm going to move this, uh, move them towards each other, and then there will be two warps that will uh, be between these left and right weavings. And now I'm going to slow this down so that uh, I can talk you through the, the splicing. So there's two warps and now I'm taking the back weaver going across the partners and to the back. So across two warps over the partners and to the back. Now this next one it's the same thing. It goes across two warps and then to the back. And so um, I just push them to the back. They're really not uh, being hooked up on anything back there. They're just getting pushed and eliminated. So this one goes across two warps and to the back. And if you've done it right, it, uh, it goes right to the foot of the uh, other three warps. So this back one goes across two warps. And if you notice, it's going under its partners. So it goes under the partners, across two warps, and to the back. Now you take the next one, and you it's the action one. It's going to go under its partner, down where that partner came up. Or actually, no, um, across two, part, part, two warps and back. And this one now is across two warps and to the back. So there you've got a spliced row of three strand. Thank you for joining me. This will be all today.